Cole Cole Professor says, what do you think about Sven's accusations against you? You can keep listening if you think he says something right. Okay. Sven Stoffels? Because... Sven and Borzoi seethe at Kiwi Farms. Just Jesse by Colonel J. Oh. Wow. Elite members of the Revolutionary Army of Podcasters, the podcast race, assert with no evidence that Kiwi Farms is property of U.S. intelligence, an international asset to Zog, whose purpose is to destabilize dissidents. They also believe that Josh has no real politics aside from free speech. So, I mean, I guess to preface it, like, Kiwi Farms is, an, is a, is a U.S. intelligence a property, or COINTELPRO property, whatever you want to call it. It is an international uh, asset to Zog intelligence services. Okay. That's all it is. Um, that's why it exists. That's why it hasn't been completely blown offline. It's there to destabilize. Uh, yeah, it has. We've been deplatformed at every single level multiple times. I just find new providers and plug it back in. Uh, I don't know how I haven't done anything illegal. So therefore there's no criminal issue to be concerned with. I can just keep doing this forever. So that's why we're not blown offline. Cause I'm not, I'm literally not doing anything wrong. Dissidency. Really? I mean, that's all it is. It is taken like the, the site is basically, it's sector right wingers, rightoids, and what it is is it revels in trying to turn people into wall cows, and it does not exclude actual political dissidents why that are trying it? to actually do things. Like it's not it's one thing. Why to, would it? Why would it? Why why are act, quote unquote actual pro- political dissidents excluded from anything? In fact, people who are quote unquote actual pl- political dissidents are more liable to be criticized because they are trying to effectuate actual change. People who are politically involved are less protected from critical speech because of what their 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 field is a private person is more protected because they're not trying to stick their dick in everybody else's business when you're when you are you're not protected so therefore to say that like that people like nick fuentes deserve more protection is asinine that's completely false the a-log nick fuentes was a fraud and a grifter fine but to go after my friends or anyone that i why how do you say that and not realize what a feet you sound like? I'm okay with them doing this to the lefties. I'm okay with this them doing this to just apolitical retards. I'm not even okay with them going after quote unquote actual political dissidents like Nick Fuentes. But my friends, my internet friends, we the good guys. We the good guys. You can't do that to us. We the podcast ways. We don't get you can't make fun of us. I know. And just try to put that, put everyone on the same level, and then make the debate about that. So that person, Crunk Lord, that I've mentioned before, who was like, who was pretending <laughs> that the, <laughs> the uh, conservative Canadian truckers thing was going to be a revolution. Like he's a he's a Kiwi Farms admit, or at least mod. I don't remember exactly. I think he's a tech. Team. But anyway, so I said so as much. And um, I, believe he, I believe he helps on the. I believe, I believe he helps Josh out with tech stuff on some. I don't know. Yeah, what that's what I think he does. He runs the Fediverse. All the weird shit that's not the Kiwi Farms that is alt tech that crunk lord is a huge proponent of i let him run that's what he does i think it might have, it might have even just been on the fetty side of things but yeah he also well, i don't know josh out text. But i think josh pretends to be apolitical or he says he's apolitical, just like grafted he's not political i'm just out here to say the n-word and oh my god how did i get in trouble and why are people noticing that i did a bad job so anyway i get this well, he, he, i think josh does like the the schrodinger's uh politicizations when when it's convenient when when there's like you know like when he's got to you know make it when he feels like he has to make a stand then he's very political and he's a free speech absolutist but when it's about anything else then yeah. he'll well, be he's a, to basically I'm, I, I'm just a political um admin of this free speech board you know he's a he's a he's, he's a free speech warrior when he has stepped on a rake and his website is getting some backlash somewhere that it deserves then he's a free speech absolutist like when he's getting what am i not though like what what is when do i when do i contradict that i don't I don't think I've ever infringed on anybody else's ability to speak either. I don't know when, he, when he's when he's when he's under attack because him and his, right. user, his, his user base that he totally goes in control and has no responsibility for. Can True. You, uh, has attacked somebody that has a lot of power and money, and know-how, and he's getting taken out. It's like other people that he has attacked and allowed his user base to sort of chill against uh, aren't siding with him. This is very bad, and they should be because more free speech. That's the thing that happens. Okay. Are you on mute because you walked away? Hello. Why are why are people who who have more friends in the tech industry again why is that why is it not okay to to criticize them as well and make fun of them i don't understand liz fong jones is a sex pest liz fong jones is a low cow liz fong jones has been credibly credibly accused of rape to the point where they have to address it on twitter why is that why is that not why can i not make fun of them for that i believe that i should be able to 
No, I, I, I muted for a second because I was I was opening up one because I was looking for this comment. Oh, <laughs> I, oh, I, I heard the tab. I heard a percussive thump and I thought maybe you left the room or something. Like, oh no. That anyway, was, no, I think that was you coming back coming in because oh. I was opening up your stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> your stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was like, oh, okay. It was like that makes your sense. voice that came through. But anyway, I have this yeah. uh, I have this comment here. Thanks for calling out Graf for being a lolly pedo. First of all, I didn't do that. He is definitely a lolly fan. What I said when people accuse Graf of being a pedo, I say he's not worth defending. It's not worth your time because he's he has no solidarity with anybody. It's because he says he's apolitical. So if someone calls you a pedo. I just shrugged my shoulders. I'm not going to stick my neck out for him. So, that was what I said. That, uh, so then he goes on. How, Kiwi Farms. Guy, whoever the fuck is speaking, this guy is the biggest fit. And you sh I have no idea who this is. I know nothing about him. I'm listening only to this three and a half minutes that I've heard so far. You should never associate with this guy. Because this guy has just said explicitly that he will stand by a pedophile and completely look the other way as long as, as he's quote unquote on their team. He will allow himself to be surrounded with fucking chomos if they're benefiting him and his political agendas. And that is the worst kind of person. That is the dumbest kind of person. That person does not have any, um, is, is extremely short-sighted and extremely stupid. If your friends are just whoever decides to be on your team, you're a fucking idiot. You don't know how to put together an actual team. Uh, you're, you're desperate and flailing. And the fact that you would you would allow someone to be called a pedophile who's not a pedophile just because you don't agree with them politically is the most like insipid, pathetic fucking thing that you could ever possibly say about yourself in terms of like your your integrity and your principles. Whoever this guy is is a fucking loser. As a forum doesn't have a political position, but its owner is explicitly political. Would you like Would you like to unpack that a little bit, Borzoi? This is just like or should I read? It's a community of like tens of thousands of people all over the place. Uh, I, I maintain a, a cohesive community because it's not a political entity. The only thing that the Kiwi Farms stand for is that the Kiwi Farms should exist. Um, and I try it in my personal politics are all over the place. I think it would be pretty hard to pin me down anywhere on a political compass. Um, I would like to think that my positions are more nuanced than just I'm extremely you know conservative author authoritarian or whatever the fuck i i feel like i have a, a pretty informed opinion um i just don't use my platform to argue that because i don't care the way that the world is set up right now my opinions on almost everything do not fucking matter the only thing that i can make a difference in is creating a more open internet that people are allowed to partake in which could eventually lead to change somewhere down the road. But right now, just trying to use my platform both to promote free speech and then also to promote my extremely weird niche political philosophies is a doomed task. That's why I do not take a stand. The entire comment, and we'll go back through. I'll read the oh, entire. Okay. Well, me, well, I'll read the, the entire script, comments. and let's go back point by point by point. Kiwi Farms as I know, a forum. I know, he's, I know he's a free. He, he likes to position yeah. himself as a, basically a free speech absolutist. But then, okay, what else? The, the, right. Is if the. All he's like, if he, if that's the extent to his politics, then all he's arguing for is negative liberty in a, in a very narrow view of negative liberty. He what, what's his, what's his political position on living in in a society? What kind of what kind of well, people? There's, there's not just like, I'm not just talking about like parties or political groups. Like what? Who are his constituents? Who does he advocate for? Who are your people? No one. Be I, <laughs> it's like these guys have one extremely narrow definition of what a person is. You you or it's like an RPG character. Um, let's do party affiliation. Uh, put your where? What are your coordinates on your political compass? What's your strength and dexterity and wisdom? And uh, do you love Hitler? That's a checkbox. And it's like you got if you don't fill out if you like send back your form and it just has your name and then a big fuck you written on your political compass. It's like whoa, uh, this guy, what an idiot! He doesn't even know what he's doing. He's so silly. He, to participate in politics is to participate in a political realm, to have a constituency, to have a demographic that you advocate for. Josh called out Graf for the pedo. And there's, oh, and there's no such thing as the free speech race, so. Hmm. Josh called out Graf for the pedo anime shit a while ago as well. I, I don't really care. He just like, because Graf is a lol cow, Josh made fun of him. That's, that's the extent of politics on QB. So Farms, Graf is a lol cow. I know having, this is where it gets annoying. I know having your docs online sucks. So again, oh. here's the rightoid that cannot operate outside of like, so it's yourself. So you're saying Kiwi Farms is bad because self-interest. Can't, yes. can't, can't possibly process that there's a systemic problem, that there's a broader issue. I know having your docs online sucks, but it would be somewhere else if it wasn't on Kiwi Farms. Yes. So, you know, if, if, I, that argument? if, I, wasn't, if okay. I wasn't, if I wasn't occupying this Palestinian home, it'd just be another Jew. Same argument. Exactly. Aside from the docs hosting, which is like end of sentence, there's no aside from docs hosting. There's no aside from being, from being a Fed um, asset like that. 
I feel like you and Josh would agree politically on quite a bit. This is this, I have seen the same comment verbatim so many times. <laughs> I've seen the same comment verbatim so many times, but he hosts my friend's docs, so therefore we can't agree on anything. And he's just a Jew. If you don't, if you don't do what I like, if you don't uh, act completely within the boundaries that I've arbitrarily defined as the rules of engagement for my people alone, you're just a Jew. Sorry. Anytime like there's any anti-Kiwi Farms thing is mentioned, and we don't really make a habit of doing it, but I've seen this every time. Aside from the stuff that makes him 100% totally your enemy, I think you would agree on, on quite a bit. It's like, no, I don't, because he won't take down docs. He won't stop doxing. <laughs> he won't stop his people from doxing. He won't stop hosting docs. He does everything. He makes every excuse he can to say that what he's doing is not doxing. Right? I don't, I don't know anything about what docs of mine is on Kiwi Farms, as this person says, but that's not my motivation for why I don't like it. I don't like the site because this is what it engages in. in like, what is the point of your free speech absolutist? So why are you making fun of Graf for like anime pedo shit? Anime pedo shit falls under free speech. If you're a free speech absolutist, what are you making fun of him Sorry. for? I'm not a free speech because you want to host docs because your job is to host docs. That's Jared. what Kiwi Farms is. Well, I mean, I keep, I've been pausing the wrong fucking video. I'm not a free speech absolutist. I, um, very specifically, there are carve outs for, um, actionable material which i could get into the the particulates of but i'm not going to i'm just that's a that's a straw man he doesn't even know so i don't know why he's thinking about me if he doesn't know anything about me the argument for that is well i know i'll speak i mean you're free to not like something just as long as you don't actually ban it or have the government involved right so that's also that's fair. Always it's also fair i can make fun of someone for doing something even if i say that you shouldn't be criminally prohibited from that from doing that boils down to I mean, this is how libertarians got their shit wrecked is like well as long you know as long as it's a private company well the private companies completely took you off the internet right so aside from this comment the private companies in the united states are like a conglomerate of like the government interest and specific monopoly contracts and then also so that doesn't align at all so somebody i don't know because i because i made fun of graph two weeks ago and just and single-handedly put him out of business by the way right he totally like he's he's quitting because i made fun of him. i'm gonna take credit on that because that's what people say <laughs> every time something bad happens to somebody that damn sven and trs like yes i did that treat me with more respect and it'll stop happening to you oh, this um, is the right <laughs> stuff i didn't know that uh, somebody, like somebody some sent me a clip songs. of josh's podcast or whatever where he was making fun of graph mm -hmm. apparently and i, I watched some of it because instead of just to see what he would say i was wondering um and he was making fun of graph for putting his own money into keeping post online and uh, he, he explicitly said that if that ever happened with Kiwi Farms, if I had to put my own money to keep that site on line, it would be over. I would well, turn off my computer. Question, whose, money, whose money is keeping Kiwi Farms? Well, aside, just aside from that, before we get into that, I want to harp on this a little bit. He says that he would, you know, he would close his laptop, he would never use the internet again, and he would be living in the hills of Serbia where he could buy X amount of acres for $5,000, and now you would just never hear from him again. Oh, so, so is this the politics I've heard so much about? That's that, what I'm that saying. Like, this, is how, this is the politics this man cares. If he cared about this stuff, he would never say anything. Why would he just check out? This says that he has, absolute, he has no solidarity with anyone politically. True. I think that you're all stupid. It's why, despite how terrible things are and the obvious lower quality of life that everybody in the United States is living with, you're such a stupid, annoying, and you say such dumb shit that you cannot compel a single normal person who isn't terminally online like fucking Graf to align with you at all. You have zero persuasive ability. You have nothing to show for your life, and you cannot convince the common working man that you have the capability of leading the nation. They will continue to vote for the same fucking people over and over again because at least they have something to show for it you have nothing that's why like i don't i, I like it's, it's not me keeping it back it's not your fucking docs on kiwi farms that's stopping you from taking over the world it's that you're a fucking loser and everyone sees you as a fucking loser and that's why you have that's well, who are your constituents nobody nobody fucking votes for you i think this is the the national justice party right what fucking winners they are Unless there's money, it's just, it's and just the money is farmer nationalism, movie review nationalism. It's not even nationalism. That's, this is in, this is rugged individualism. This is not so rugged individualism. This is I'm going to quit and surrender if the uh, if the FBI money stops coming in, if the CIA yeah. payoff stops. Uh, I, my site has ten thousand logins a day. Ten thousand logins a day. My podcast has three thousand viewers twice a week my point is if i cannot convince my own user base to fund my expenses like graph has been unable to convince his users to fund his expenses it's time to give up either you're so bad at the business that you can't run it and you should fucking stop which is graph's case or your own users hate you enough that they're not going to fund the site that they fucking use which is also graph's case graph graph is bad at business and he's alienated his own support base to the point where they will not 
give him money to continue running a site that they use because they don't like him. My point is, if my own community hated me to the point where I and refused to do anything to give me money to run my own site, I would not get a job flipping burgers to run the Kiwi Farms because that's fucking pathetic. I would move the fuck on. That's not an illogical thing to say. That's smart. That's that's that is the epitome of logic. I'm doing what's right for myself. It's not. <laughs> Do you not do you not realize that most people have jobs and when they want to support a website that they use they can use their fucking credit card or send a check in the mail or use Bitcoin or something when you have real people who use your your site you can actually use those people to fund your operations you don't have to rely on your own money or the federal government usually people pay you money for a service that they enjoy how do you not know I, I know that they're not libertarian but I think most people have an understanding of how uh, 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 capitalism works even if they don't agree with it. Coming in. Because that, that site is not being fucking supported by its users. Those The users of Kiwi Farms are not people who shell out money to keep a site out. They're the same kind of people who use posts. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, they are. My The site is 100% community funded. Um, the podcast makes a decent amount of money, which helps pay with my living expenses. And then I get significant cryptocurrency donations every single month. Um, from Granted, I get a lot of small donations, but most of it is a um, handful of people who do a hundred dollars a month every month. And that's, that's how I keep the lights on cryptocurrency donations, mostly Monero and Bitcoin. They're just cheap fucks. They want to use a free thing and never. And the idea of giving the owner of a site a dime is like a laughable, like, why would I, why would I give him my identity and my payment identity? I would lo I would get doxxed. Uh, I can't trust that guy. He's stupid. He's like, this, the, it's the internet. Um, uh, that's the exact opposite. I have done, I have worked very hard for years to maintain a level of trust with my community. Where they know that if they support me, even if they turn on me really hard and start cyberbullying me off off site, I'm not going to use their payment information to hurt them. Which, in case you're wondering, I think is something that Graph has done, which is probably why a lot of people don't trust him with their information. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure though that he had something where he used payment information against somebody. Um, so yeah, people do trust me with their payment details, but I don't actually process payments in a typical way. I just accept Bitcoin. And I teach people how to use Bitcoin, which is effectively untraceable from my perspective. Like the internet piker libertarian, where everything is, like if you provide a service on the internet and it doesn't have like an admission price, you're stupid and I'm here to take advantage. That's the kind of people that are on, that run that site. So it's not being paid by them. It's being paid by US intelligence. I have no evidence of that, but that's, that's what I believe. Because, I mean, and this guy and is a guy, he's already... Stupid. People like the site. It's one of the last sites that you can say what you want to say on it. People pay for it because it's a rarity that they know that if they lost because they, it was not paid for, it wouldn't exist anymore. They wouldn't go to a, a subreddit or some other, you know, like if, if one website closes down, like your your automotive forum closes down, you just go to our cars or whatever the fuck on Reddit. You can't replace the Kiwi Farms with a subreddit. It doesn't exist. If it's gone, it's gone. And it's gone forever. And nobody will be able to, to to start a Kiwi Farms from scratch right now because they'll get shut down and they won't have the, the cumulative resources and, and people that I have on the forum. That's why they pay for it. He surrendered. He's already left the country. He lives somewhere in the hills of Serbia, as he says. So it's like, where, what are the politics? Is he trying to get back to America? No. Isn't it funny how it's always these expats <laughs> yep. that, ha that apparently have the, the strongest political opinions about how people, you know, trying to affect any kind of change in the United States are doing it all wrong? He, he is so... He is such like a lost little boy. It's like, what do you mean you're, you don't have politics? What do you mean that you're, you're not going to be, be politics, man? Why are you not? I'm politics, man. Why would you, why would somebody not be politics? He's like a redditor. He's like a like a tranny. If you're not pro trans, then you're anti trans. If you're not a far right wing extremist that goes on the and the 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 white people podcast race podcast like the right stuff, and you don't vote NJP and you don't promote NJP and you don't ban the left wing, then you are a left wing. Like fuck you, faggot. You're not gonna strong arm me into supporting your your gay cringe party. Fuck you. Yep. It's uh, funny how that works. Very disappointing. So the the, the, ex, the expat. I know. I, I just like I just like using the word na uh, nationals for everything. But the, the, all these expat nats are always like the because because Josh is a, is a Moldbug fan. It's yeah, always these it expat nats that have the that are really into reactionary. I I Moldbug is a political guy 
and he's like a monarchist. The only thing I like about Moldbug is his terminology for what he calls the cathedral. This is a concept that's exi existed since Kaczynskiism. It's gone by many names, but I just use the term cathedral, which is why they assume that I'm like a, a monarchist Moldbug supporter, which I, I, I vaguely know anything about, in case you're curious. Politics or, or Republican politics. Really weird how that works. You know, you support these different these different uh, group, well, I mean, you support these different individuals in the United States, but... Uh, not not enough to put your money where your mouth is mm. and live in the United States and live with the consequences of what their ideas might bring about. Mm. Oh, yeah. People in Serbia yeah. have no idea what the consequences of American politics are. You dumb. Nobody in Serbia has ever dealt with the consequences of American voters. This is a fucking idiot. I still pay taxes, by the way, because I'm an expat. I still have to pay taxes. Only country in the world where you have to pay taxes as an expat. I'm not sure where else we can go with that. I just want to point that out. There. Like, there, is, there is no common ground with... Uh, White nationalism and Cuban farms. Any accidental common ground on it you may see is accidental and you should remove yourself from that space. It's not a good place to be. He, was, he, will, he has basically said he will never have solidarity with anybody. He did it as an own on graph, I know, but it's, I think it's, I think it's uh, the truth. That, like, uh, well, when, well, when people tell you who they are, just believe them. Yep. And that's who he is. <laughs> yeah, these guys are gay. These guys are super fucking gay. I don't know who this guy is, but... Yeah, listening to that that diatribe where it's like, it's like fucking Anakin Skywalker. You're either with me or you're my enemy. Like, simmer down. How about this? How about this as a political strategy? Don't alienate fucking everybody. Don't make people choose between supporting your gay uh, uh, fringe coalition and being your friend or being in your, in your area. Because you know what? When you are able to network and you're able to get along with people they're much more likely to support you one of the reasons by the way here here's just an aside he mentions that my website has no political purpose and i let all these fucking lib shits use my forum it's just the same as all the the base rightoids and whiteies do you know why i do that you know why i try to sh i try to keep the site as open as possible because i want people to enjoy what i enjoy and then when they're on the site and they see the things that are on the site their opinions might actually change just a little bit just by being exposed to it. And even if it doesn't, they might see active internet censorship of a site that they use and say, this is bad. I don't want this. Even though I am a left lefty cuckold, tranny homosexual, I don't like that the things that I like are being shut down for no reason. I do not support internet censorship. And then I have made a friend across the barrier who may support me on certain things that we agree with. And then those things might get actioned into the real world because I have reached out to these people who don't align with me 100%. If I, if I excluded people from my circle who did not align with me 100%, I would have nobody. There is not a single fucking person in this world who aligns with me 100%. So compromise is necessary everywhere if I'm going to get along in my day-to-day -day life. And these guys have no concept of that. Either you are you are ready to, to gas them and you're ready to send all of them back to Africa or you're no friend of his. Either you don't host docs of his friends in specific or you're no friend of his. Like he has this list of things that you have to align with 100%. Otherwise, you're not his friend. And what does that get him? It gets him being the, the fucking podcast race with the NJP with no votes and no power and just seething about a fucking drama forum because... Um, he doesn't understand why, why people can't be friends with him. And it's like, because you're a fucking loser and you're exclusionary uh, to a fault. Uh, I, I, how, how does somebody, I know this guy, he does like a, is it like a daily podcast? He does this shit every day, right? He does, or every week. He has a weekly pod, I'll say be friendly, say a weekly podcast. But he's been doing this for years. TRS has been around for like a decade at this point, right? And he hasn't figured this out. He hasn't clicked that if you push everybody away and force people to look think with you 100% that you'll never achieve anything. And he hasn't figured it out yet. He does this every week. He thinks his entire life is dedicated to his politics. And he hasn't figured out the most fundamental fucking thing, that if you alienate everybody, then you don't have any friends. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, that, 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 that's really irritating to listen to. This guy, like, smugly condescend that uh, this guy. He's not, got no politics. He's not a real person. He doesn't have a political affiliation. He's not he's barely even a human being because he doesn't have a party that he votes for in the U.S. of A. Okay, you fucking retard. I hope that you got your $5 worth, Cole Cole. Thank you for watching this clip. 
This is the CSA Law Firm. Remember to like and subscribe.